and today I am actually doing a video kind of showing you how to navigate through aliexpress.com as you can see right here at the top of the bar always make sure that it says this and not like a bunch of other like letters obviously be smart when you are on the internet and you're not getting fished or spam type of websites so I have been ordering off of AliExpress for about uh, I'd say like nine years now I first started buying like baby headbands and stuff with my first my firstborn and back in the day you had to buy in bulk like it was AliExpress but you had to buy increments of like two or three nothing crazy bulk but um, it was kind of hard to find somebody that would sell you only one item. But now it's completely opposite. You can go on there and buy one thing and so forth. So if you've never ordered from AliExpress, this video is for you. If you have, you could probably just move along. <laughs> but it's kind of like Amazon. If you guys know what Amazon is, it's very popular. It's basically a mall. So there's one mall and there's a bunch of stores inside of it. You purchase stuff from each of those stores. You have different transactions, different sellers, you know. So that's kind of how Amazon is. So AliExpress is like that. These are all different stores like this person is selling something, this person, this person. These are all different stores. So it's not like, you know, you can just go on there and search that way. I would definitely have something in mind when you are going on AliExpress. Like, you need to be looking for something. Because if you just try to start wandering over here on these, like, look at these are always popping up. I never click on those. The coupons don't ever work over here, so don't even bother with that. But I feel like you could click on these, but you, you'll be on here for hours. You're going to go down that dark rabbit hole, so make sure you know what you want. You can fan out from there, like, seeing other suggested items popping up. So the first thing you're going to do is up here in this right hand corner, the very top, you are either going to join or you're going to sign in. Basically, you just need your email and stuff. That's it. So I'm going to sign in. OK, so I'm signed in right now. You're going to see a welcome back and then your name. So that's how you know you also have like your name right here. Messages. I never check those things. It's basically um, spam, not spam, but like them trying to sell something like, oh, here's some new product. Buy this. No, I don't want to buy that. So I wouldn't click on the messages or take them too seriously. Like they're not, you know, messaging you one-on-one. -on -one. It's kind of a spam email going out. Okay, so at the top, I just search. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you because I've been searching for them is balloon charms. And remember that, you know, there is a language barrier. So sometimes something that you would think is called something like charms they might use a different word like balloon dangle, balloon jewelry, balloon. You got to think outside the box sometimes if you can't find what you're looking for. So here's balloon charms. None of this is what I want, um, but this is what I want. OK, so you can see right here it's going to have the store. Everything with the underline right here is the store name. So this I, I like I like these balloons. I'm going to click on them and it always opens up another window like it starts a new tab basically so this is 332 always pay attention to the lot the lot means that you are getting and it's in parentheses right here 10 pieces it'll also say it up here 10 pieces if it doesn't have it right here make sure you check right here and even if right here doesn't have it you need to come down here and you need to click the overview and you need to read the description what it says because sometimes they'll have um like a bunch of words typed up right here right here see this doesn't have anything listed, but sometimes it'll be like 10 pieces or yada, yada. Also, pay attention to the size. Something looks self-explanatory. Um, like this, I'll look at it. Yeah, millimeters looks good, but this could be huge. I don't know, you know, so I would just always type in 17 millimeters into Google and, you know, turn it into inches so you know how big it is. Pricing. So this is 332 a lot. And then down here is shipping. It'll tell you how much shipping is. So it's 94 cents. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I, I still don't even like paying for shipping. Um, you can also get free shipping if you order $9 versus, you know, in this actual store. And the store name is right here at the top. So this is their physical store. They've got a 97% positive feedback. You can always look at the reviews as well, which is down here. Scroll all the way to the bottom. This does not have any reviews, this balloon. But, you know, I'm a rebel and sometimes I just order anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show you real quick. Okay, say you like these balloons. Oh, let's pick out a blue balloon. Let's um, add to the cart. Now it's in my cart, okay? 
So I like to shop around for the best price because multiple stores will have the same thing. This is seller recommendations, which means it's all from his store. If you scroll a little bit down, it's gonna say more to love. That means these are other shops that are selling similar items. Ooh, look, same balloons for $6. Of course, I'm not gonna add those to my cart, but you do get 30 pieces, so not just 10. So you definitely have to pay attention and you can do the math to figure out you know, how much it is a piece. But again, sometimes suggested will come up over here. See how it says recommended for you. You'll see other items over here as well. This is from the same store because you can see the little logo. But here's their store. You can see, look at this, 99% positive feedback. It's got a lot of followers. So it seems like a trustworthy store. So I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. Hopefully this one has reviews. Okay, here we go. So once you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see the customer reviews. And I love it when people upload photos, that way you can kind of see, sometimes they'll hold it in their hand or if they're from a country that uses you know, inches and stuff versus millimeters in the metric system. So you can see all the different charms they ordered. Just as described, you can see them in that person's hand, the size of it. So I do like pictures like that. So thank you people for leaving reviews like that. <laughs> so you can see everybody loves them basically. But again, $6.59. So anyway, you could just add these to your cart. That doesn't mean you're buying it. I would never click buy now because you want to see the stuff in your cart and make sure that you're not ordering the wrong thing. More to love. And you can kind of just look that way if you don't want to go back to the main search page. Okay, so say these guys. Say you don't even know. Well, did you already add these ones to your cart? Yeah, you did with the 94 cents. But even if you didn't know, say you wanted this, add to cart. I'm just going to show you guys the cart. So you could click view shopping cart or say you close that out already. It's up here. Shopping cart. Ooh, lots of stuff in my cart. Okay. So you could tell that this is all from the same store because it is under this one piece. There, do you see how there's a white box right here? The white box is around one store. That's why it says buy from this seller. So it has all of them. Then look over here. I added these balloons and look, I just happen to add something else that's also from this store, but I don't, I don't want these pieces anymore. So I'm going to select it and delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And then I got a bunch of other stuff in my cart. Okay. So anyway, I like to, add, when I'm shopping, I go through, I add, add all this stuff to my cart. And then when I'm ready to check out, I'll come and I'll look and be like, okay, well this one's 332 and this, like say I added a bunch of other stores with this balloon, I'll go through and I'll look and I'll see who is the cheapest with the price plus shipping. And then that way I can narrow it out and, and then select and delete the ones that I don't want. So he's way too expensive, I don't want that many. You know what, and then also you need to pay attention. Sometimes when you add them to your cart multiple times, it doesn't even register that it did. So you come over here and you physically add two or one Definitely pay attention to the quantity. That's another thing that people will not pay attention to. I don't want the green, let's delete it. I want the pink. So say you just want this guy. You could click him and when this red box is selected, it's gonna show you over here order summary. So the subtotal is 332, shipping 94 cents. And then say I just wanna buy this one guy. You would, it has my credit card information saved up here so I kind of scrolled down real quick. But you could see it right here. Again, breaking down your total, subtotal, shipping, there's tax now. There never used to be tax on AliExpress. This just happened about a year ago. It sucks. It's annoying, but it is what it is. And then you would just come over here and click place order and you're done. If you click place order, I've had this happen to me so many times, so don't panic. If you place order and then you get an error message or button pop up in the middle of your screen, say, uh-oh, something went wrong. Try again. Don't do all of that. Um, X out of that page and then go back to your account and you're going to click my orders. So you would come to your orders and you would see, did you really purchase that? If you did purchase it, it'll show up on your orders page, you guys. You'll see it. And if it's not there, that means that the transaction really did not go through. I literally nine out of 10 times when it said an error message after I hit pay and like confirm, I went back and the order did go through. So again, double check your orders that you didn't already place the order and don't hit your refresh button multiple times i'm sure that would charge your account multiple times so don't do all that be smart when you're doing that okay so i'm going to go back to my cart say you wanted this say you wanted everything in your cart 
you just hit select all. Woo, what's this total going to be over here? Oh! <laughs> Shipping, $48. Okay. Look at that. Woo, okay. That's everything. I have I have so much junk in my cart, you guys. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I don't, obviously I don't want to do that. So I'm going to unselect that. Okay, so I would say I want everything from this shop. I want everything from this shop. I want everything from this shop, this shop, um, and this shop, you know. It'll come over here. Your shipping's going to be $4 subtotal. So I'll go through and be like, Ugh, shipping $2. You know what? Forget it. I don't like him. That's what I do. I don't like, if it's manageable, the 40s and the 50 cents, I like it. But when it starts creeping up to the dollars and stuff, you guys, I really don't like paying that because you can sometimes, most of the time, find it cheaper. If you can't, then you just got to buckle up, man up, and pay that shipping. So again, you do the same thing. Buy all. These are all different stores. And they will all ship their items separately. And they will ship it to an AliExpress warehouse. And they'll kind of package it up just like Amazon does and ship it all out in one bag. It does get to you way faster. This is something new that they have just started a couple of months ago. So I'm so excited for that. But if you just order this one charm thing, that shop's just going to ship it out directly from their store straight to you. And then shipping, this is a waiting game, you guys. The prices aren't cheap for nothing. You are paying a cheap price most of the time. Some things are overpriced. But you are paying a cheap price and you're going to pay the waiting game <laughs> that's just how it works but i do love that the packages come in you don't know when the heck they're coming in i don't ever try to track them because it, that you just get like me i get overwhelmed like when's it coming i don't want to wait it's not like u.s postal service it shows china on a ship on a plane you know as you can come up here and you can shop um scrap booking paper you could just search all sorts of things and make sure you pay attention again to the shipping blah 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 Okay, so another requested thing is, is like, how do you search a store? They have not upped their game in that department. For instance, it's not like Etsy where you can search a store or Amazon. Say I'm looking for Andy's store. He is R-L-J-L-I-V-E-E-S. And then he sells dyes, metal cutting dyes. Let me search that. These are the store names. Hi June store popped up. Berlin house store like see all these stores these are the store names it, it his store is not popping up even though that's his name and it's very frustrating if you're trying to search a specific store that's why when a you know one of a youtubers mentions a name and they link it down below that's probably your best option to 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 use that link but look if you keep scrolling you can find it. right now I'm lucky because it doesn't always look like this here's Andy's store right here it worked so you could click on Andy's store. Here his store is. Up here, okay, so at the very top of this, you can hit follow. Me, I'm already following him, so I, I don't. And then over here, say you want to go look at that store, you can come to my favorite stores. So I have Andy's store as my favorite store. Michael Anderson, that's a sequin store. Um, this Addy Craft store, Piggy store. They do have a lot of knockoff brands, but AliExpress has really stepped up their games and a lot of stores, KS Craft, Andy's store, KLJYP store, they all sell original designs because they pay their designers to design stuff now. So here's Alina Craft store, KLJYP. So I have, you can see that I have stores and that way you could just visit the store you know, and come look through here. And here's their stores, the front of their stores. You can see all their products, their sale items, top selling. See, cutting die. Let's look at some Christmas. So that's kind of just how you navigate through AliExpress. This is this person's store. You can see it right here. Craft Love Store. You're looking at their store and what they have to offer. And then they will usually have store categories over here on the left-hand side. So here's Hannah's store. Here's the front. And, you know, sometimes they'll have, it depends how much they decorate. New arrivals, she'll have paper, banners, stuff like that. Look at her little clay bits, little Nintendo things. And then products, new arrivals. You can search, you know, that's how you search AliExpress for stuff. She's got paper, she's got dyes, all sorts of cuties. Have stuff, if you don't want to say, I want this paper. 
and you don't want to add this to your cart. Say your cart's full. You have 99. You can only put 99 things, I think, inside of there. So you could hit this heart button right here. This heart button literally basically just puts it on a wish list. So you can look at your wish list. I don't think I've added stuff to this in a long time. Okay, maybe I have. Okay, so then you're going to have all your little wish lists like, hey, let's go look back later. And another tip, okay, here's my cart up here in the corner. If you leave stuff in your cart long enough, <laughs> I have literally left stuff in my cart for, you know, a couple weeks, a month or whatever, and I go through it and I realize I changed my mind. Sometimes you get so click happy and you're happy you're finding a good deal on all this stuff and you eventually change your mind. I can't tell you how many things I bought, ordered, and I didn't end up using it or my, I kind of changed my mind or I didn't love it because I found something cuter. So definitely sometimes keep stuff in your cart, let it marinate a little bit, and then you're going to know if you really want it. <laughs> but if you're happy, it's Friday, you just got paid, that's when you know you just start clicking and adding and buying. Say you're scrolling down and you're like, where the heck is my it's been 50 months however many months you know you can hit confirm goods received this page will pop up and you will select the item and then you will hit open dispute then you're going to say do you i don't i don't even do you know how expensive it would be to return something like no so refund only say i want my money back okay you would click refund sometimes if you're not in the window frame to even ask for a refund because you haven't even gotten it so did you receive the item yes reason uh say it was damaged it was broken you say how much you want back you can ask for one cent or the full amount you would type that in you upload and you have to upload a photo you have to prove that it was broken or prove that it was the wrong color stuff like that so that's just a way to open a dispute so here you are on your orders your orders page say you know you filed a dispute now you want to go, you can find the item and then you can kind of like, they'll be like, you know, view dispute options if it's on there. You can click this over here as well, refund and disputes. I actually, I know I have an open dispute. So it says right here, dispute in progress. Basically, they wait for the seller to reply. Sometimes they're they literally try to bargain with you. Like, what if I give you $2? Like, what? No, you sent the wrong thing or it's broken, you know? Should have packaged it better. Anyway, I got the wrong color. So I am... I am waiting for this for them to comment back so here's the view details we are in arbitration here's mine i literally commented they sent the wrong color blah 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 i uploaded a photo they will come back and comment who can comment again saying no i want the full price and then if they're still haggling aliexpress like whoever steps in and they'll be like nope you know, Tony is getting a full refund and then they award you. Okay, say you got your item and you're like, oh, this is the wrong color and you scroll down and you look and you did order pink. So it'll say right here in like a, like a pastel gray product properties pink. Say you got a pink one and you wanted purple and you look and you're like, shoot, I did order pink. You got to pay attention when you're, you know, doing stuff like that. It'll say like golden, it'll say the size. This ribbon, I order, say you got some big fat ribbon and then you realize that you did order the 10 millimeter or you know something like that. So it, you can come back into your orders and see that, see those type of things. And you can always ask them questions as well. This little robot always pops up. You can, it's kind of like a chat. So say you can always contact the seller right here. Like, hey, before you open a dispute, sometimes they like that. I just go straight to dispute. Like I ain't got time for this. The orders can take anywhere from, I've gotten stuff in two weeks, like that's some good time. And then I've also gotten stuff months, four months, five months, <laughs> I must have got lost somewhere and then got, got back on track. That's just the name of the game. So you wanna see where your order is, you can hit track order. That window will pop up, covering my address, my address is right here. So basically it says, on the 18th, it was ready for dispatch. It went to the warehouse. It left China's warehouse. You know, then it's on an airline. Then it's left for the country. It's on a plane somewhere. You know, so it, it kind of just breaks it all down. But then again, you still can't 
sometimes you can't pinpoint exactly where it's at. So that's why I don't even bother with the tracking. Another thing under um, my orders, say your friend wants to know, hey girl, where'd you get that? You can go to your orders, but say you ordered 300 things because you're a crazy shopper. You can come up here and hit product and hit, say for instance, she was looking for pom-poms, but you know there's too many pages to search. It'll pull up all of the things that have the word pom-pom in the description of the, the item. So I bought pom-pom trim, pom-pom balls, pom-pom this, that, and then you can find it. You can click on that item and it's gonna take you to that real life page. You just come up here, you hit copy and paste and send that to your friend. That's all you gotta do. That's if you're not using affiliate links.